Something, something to work out with. Oh, he seriously brought that with him? He's obviously, um, so he's like a, he's in Doug's shape. Uh, Doug's a yeah. worker out kind of guy. Stop? Oh, I can see he's a big packer. Looking through Doug's stuff, I could see that he likes to work out. Really cool to see that he did bring very little. He is who he is. Bottom line, everybody loves a guy who can be who he is all the time. With their new information, the men and women invited each other on their first one-on-one -on -one dates. First up, Megan and Matt, who chose each other. Hello. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, right. I'm totally at a, at a walk. Feedback. Walk to the voice. I don't. Oh, Hi. there you are. Hi. Hi. Come sit by oh. me. Sit to my right. Wait. Okay. We have a couch. Oh, this is fantastic. <laughs> it's so much better than the table. So I have Oh, and there's no end on the couch, right? That's a... <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, tell me a little bit about yourself. I was a political science major in college. Mm -hmm. I was a big nerd. I'm totally a nerd. I'm still a big nerd. I, I just wear cute clothes. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so I was actually in Colorado for one year because I was engaged. Really? Yes. Cool. I was not engaged, but I was very close. So like, I'm totally not taken back yeah. by that at all. OK, can I touch your hair? Uh, do you have hair? I do, I do have hair. You very <laughs> much can touch hair. my hair. I wanted to touch his face. I wanted to touch his hair. He didn't have any, you know, like weird <laughs> deformities. <laughs> this is definitely, this is definitely. I hard. don't have any facial hair. The date with Megan went fantastic. Uh, I think uh, we really hit things off, and I look forward to definitely seeing you again. Jason and Lindsay decided to try the Boston connection when they invited each other into the dark room. Ooh. Oh, there you are. Okay, What's up? Nice How are you? Hmm. Good. All right, check Can this I feel out. your hair? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, let me, why the let me guess. hair straightener? I was I so knew this was going to come back and of... bite me. When I walked in, the first thing I wanted to do was touch his hair, and I was shocked. <laughs> It was like, it felt regular. Basically, I just, like, it just straightens my hair. Feel the top of it. Oh, I got you. So it's yeah. just, it's not spiky. like, it's yeah, not exactly. like, okay, that's funny. So all your family's back in Boston, right? Everybody, yeah. Yeah, same here, actually. Okay, interesting. Yeah. The fact that Jason's from Boston, it definitely is a pro, it's definitely a con. It's easy to relate to things. We have a lot in common, but it scares me that we have that much in common because it's not such a challenge to me. Next, Christy invited Jason for his second date in the darkroom. What's up? All right, okay. hold on a second. I'm going to try to make my way over to you without falling on my face. Hello. Oh, oh, there you are. How are you? Oh, perfect. Hey, hi. Christy seems like she's a really petite girl, which is cool, because that's actually something that, uh, that I like a lot. It's a characteristic I look for in girls. So um, tell me a little bit about what your interests are and stuff like that. I like to laugh, man. I like to have a good time. You know what I mean? I like to dance. I like music. I love romance. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. want life to be too serious. Yeah, I absolutely believe that a lot, too. Every day you wake up is a fresh and new day, and exactly. you got to like live it to the fullest. You know, I really believe in God. I believe in Christ. That's definitely my foundation. <clears throat> I definitely love a guy who's um, who's spiritual. If he can say, "Look, you know, babe, if something's going on, look, let's pray about this," mm -hmm. because sometimes you just need that encouragement. I've kind of leaned away from being religious to more spiritual. Yeah. I definitely don't think that Christy's being forceful with her views on religion, but I think when she brings it up, she shifts the mood from when we're obviously trying to make a romantic connection, especially considering it's just the first date. Doug got his chance when he invited Lindsay. Do you have any questions for me? Well, OK, so you have brothers, sisters? Two older sisters. Two older sisters. And You're the youngest. I am. I have two older sisters as well. Do you really? Yeah. Do you have any nieces and nephews? I have one niece, and I'm going to have a second, but I don't know if it's a niece or a nephew yet. Congratulations. Thank you very much. How do you like much. being an uncle? Oh, it's awesome. I'm like head over heels in love with children. That's cool. Do you like sports? I love sports. I mean, I, I was, I'm a pitching coach for the Cardinals, so yeah. I better like sports. Yeah, I know, right? The fact that Doug is a pitching coach would be if I could put my dream job with a dream guy, that would be it. I'll be honest. After talking to you, you're yeah. way different than I perceived. <laughs> <laughs> because Good. if we didn't get the chance to come in here and do this, I would have taken you as the muscle head and just kind of shipped yeah, you. Yeah, dude, no but way. I'm small. <laughs> not like, small. No, man. but you're not, yeah, like, I'm not buff or nothing. No. Well, it's yeah. just, it's refreshing. The date with Lindsay went well. We were holding hands the entire time. It was just really easy. I believe Lindsay felt the same connection. Hopefully, I'll get to have a date with her again, and we'll see if she feels the same way or not. Next, the darkroom games begin. <laughs> I don't want to do anything serious because there is a lighter side to me. And as emotional ties strengthen, oh, awesome. some uncertainty looms. You know she's a thicker girl. Is the thickness a deal breaker? I'm on the fence. When dating in the dark continues.
Hello, ladies. Hello. How are we doing this morning? Good. Today is a very exciting day. All right. We are going to reveal who your most compatible partner should be. Now, this is all based on your pre-interviews, uh, the questionnaires you guys filled out before arriving, and the opinions of experts. Not only are we going to tell you who your most compatible partner should be, we're going to give you a compatibility score along with it to let you know how good of a match you are with this person. Ooh, All right. That's good. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, once you find out who this person is, you're going to go on an individual date with him, and that's when we'll see if that chemistry is really there, okay? <laughs> so, you guys are ready? Just take a look over here at the screen. Guys, good luck. Enjoy. Catch you later. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Have a good one. Later, man. Oh, Megan! Yeah. That's me! That's me! Oh, okay. Megan. Call that one, man. That was easy. Eighty-one percent, bro. Eighty-one percent. Oh, Chrissy. Chrissy, that would be me. Oh! Oh, really? Wow. Wow. All right. Jason, that's so funny. Seventy-five percent. <laughs> yes. Doggy. How much? How much? Let's see. Seventy-three. Wow, you guys need to step it up a little bit. <laughs> My compatibility match was Lindsay, and I wasn't disappointed about that. I was pleasantly surprised. I melted some chocolate <laughs> with some strawberries. But what I thought we do with the chocolate mm -hmm. is um, I could dip my finger in it or you could dip your finger in it and then you could, you know, put it wherever you'd like me to give you a kiss or something like that. It might be huh. kind of fun. Okay. Okay, so here, here's my finger. This is awesome. Here's my finger. <laughs> so. Oh. <laughs> it was like kind of sort of on my neck. Is it? Yeah. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right. Here. Lower. Lower. <laughs> right here. Uh -huh. My date with Doug was so comfortable. He obviously put some thought into it. It was very flattering to have that comfort level with somebody right off the bat. Is just it's incredible. When you get back to the room, <laughs> the girls are gonna be like, "Dude, would you all have a mud fight?" Okay, so don't know what's on my face right now. Is it his mouth? He decided he was gonna melt this chocolate, gonna dip our fingers in it and put it where he could, where you wanted a kiss. Oh, wow. Your chocolate face. Wow. And this is the best part, we kept... Is that, what is that, a hickey? Yeah, yeah, right? We kept missing. So I'm like, Ew, oops. <laughs> oh, my little slut. <laughs> On my first date with Christy, the mood was pretty serious. Our conversation was about faith, which was good because I got to know a lot about her, but I didn't really get to see any fun side of Christy. Oh, oh you got something in your hand? Uh-huh. I actually have, like, a football in my hand, and I wanted nah. to... No, I kid you not. And I was like, okay, we're going to spread across the room, and we're going to find each other. I don't want to do anything serious. I want to kick it, have a good time, and play around. Because there is a lighter side to me. It's not just about this whole uh, loving God and so forth. It's a big part of me, but, you know, I, I believe that you can have that and have fun, too. Ready? Go. All right. <laughs> Where's the ball? I mean, <laughs> am I allowed to take, I'm gonna take you down. <laughs> you know, I used to wrestle in high school. <laughs> She's actually a really strong girl. So at first I was gonna be gentle and the nice guy, but then I realized that she was pretty serious, so I had to kind of turn up a notch. <laughs> that was really, really fun. And I wanted to really see if you had like the spontaneous fun side that I thought you might. Mm -hmm. And you definitely did, like you got an A plus. I know, I was like, I do not want to do any more serious stuff. Yeah, like let's have fun with it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, why don't we toast to the compatibility? Yeah, what was it, 75%? 75%? Good. I know, yeah. I love it. Okay. Right. Okay. Being able to do this was a breath of fresh air and I am grateful for Jason for being that type of person. I'm stoked for my day with Megan. I have an indoor surfboard. I'm looking to accelerate things and uh, get to know Megan a little bit better. I just really felt the strongest connection with you off of that. Me too. But like from the very beginning. Yeah. Um, I, I did bring a little activity, which I think will be fun. I think it'll be a little interactive, and, okay. and I think we should do it. Okay. Um, I'm going to hold on to your waist. Okay. Like you're not going to go anywhere. Can I kick back? You know, like your car. Like your car. <laughs> 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 I can only feel like you guys surfing. Things with Megan are going well, actually. This is awesome. <laughs> I felt my way around to see if she had a really tight fit body. I typically go for a more petite girl. It's pretty odd that uh, I feel that there's such a strong attraction. What was it? 